Hi everyone, Shaz here. Just wanted to take you through, I've just finished doing a um, introduction to Design Space class and I thought I would quickly come in and show you um, how you do a long cut with the Maker 3. I just absolutely love the Maker 3 because it can give you such really good long cuts without any fuss at all. I've got a little cutie here, well actually he's a big cutie here, uh, that I've been using for store demo. And uh, this cutie here, he is 33 inches high. Um, I'm not sure what that, that's almost, um, what's that, that's, what's 33 inches? Where am I here? It's about 84, 85 centimeters uh, tall. And um, I did it in uh, one, one side here and one side here. And with the black, I did it with the extra piece up here with the the bubble, with the comment bubble. Um, but otherwise, this cutie was done with the smart vinyl, and the smart vinyl was then put onto um, foam board. And at the back, I've put a stand and also some MDF on there, which I've painted so that it um, it holds everything together without making it bend too much, because I found that. Um, in a couple of spots before I did that, it was starting to get, um, you know, a couple of creases. I think it's in one of those, yeah, there's a crease there that I had there. Um, and that was prior to putting the boards on. So I'm going to share with you how it is that you do this um, nearly three foot cut um, on the Maker 3. So I'm going to take you through the process of doing that. Now I've got the Maker here which I'll then go over to the Maker 3 and I've got it ready to go. I do have a roll holder so that means that the vinyl, the smart vinyl is in the roll holder itself and so that makes it um, a lot easier to work with if you do have one of those. Um, they will be coming to Australia um, soon enough. They're not here yet but they will be coming um, to Australia so um, once they do come here um, then I suggest that you do get yourself one because they, um, they're an invaluable tool uh, with those roll holders. They um, keep everything just sort of neat and tidy and it, and it does have the trimmer on the end so that you can then um, cut it off um, after your cut has been done. So I'm just going to go to the... Where is it? I just need to go to my um, Cricut Design Space here. So I'm just, where's the cut that I did? This one here, the giant cutie. And you'll be able to see the different um, pieces that I've got in this. I'm going to customise it. I'll replace what I've got there. You can see that the maker is down the bottom there. That was my card that I was doing in our intro to design space class. And you can see that it takes a little bit for it to come in and that's because the um, pieces are so large. Um, I thought that the weeding process of it was fantastic and I'd never had any problem as in transferring it over either. Um, I think that, you know, some people uh, may think that, you know, it was really hard to transfer, but it wasn't. Uh, so these black pieces that I've got here, these black ones here, uh, they're the ones that I'm about to cut. Just seeing if I can find where they are. There, there they are. Now this is an off the mat project, so it does use the smart vinyl um, in the Maker 3. And... Um, that means that you can cut it all in, rather than in cardstock, um, I decided that I would then cut it into three pieces. There's the, the left side, here's your right side, well on, on this screen it's the, yeah on this screen it's the other way around. And then we've got the bubble piece here. Now they fit in perfectly, so when it goes to make it, let me just go there. Because I've got the black ready to go, 
I just thought that I would come in quickly and show you. Um, I'm going to then choose Cricut Smart Materials without a mat. This one here. Now we'll have the first one there and that is the, um, you know, the whiteboard type material. Now you can see here on mat number four, you can see just how long this is. This is going to ask for 194 centimetres in length. So it's going to ask for a long piece. Now if I just wanted to do these in two separate pieces I could, or three separate pieces I could, you know, if I had those sort of pieces um, available, and they may have been the end of a roll or something like that, um, then I would want to tell um, this here how long I've actually got. So if I only had, let's say, um, let's say I only had a piece that was 100. So if that's the case, then it's actually put one cutie, or half a cutie, I, I should say, onto one piece, and then the other pieces would then come down onto the next mat, okay? And it would be 109 on that. So I've got a piece of vinyl there that I want to um, place into the Maker 3. And to be honest with you, I can't remember how long the piece is that's on there. It might be enough to do both of them. I'm not sure. In fact, I think it probably is big enough to do both. So let's just go back and change that. So what did it say? 194, I think it was. But that just shows you that if you've got um, pieces that are left over from a roll, um, that you can change the... You can change it in the mats there. Now you can see because I changed it before that the other one is on the next piece there. So I'm just going to cancel that. I mean I could fiddle around with it and then change it back again, move things off the mat, that kind of thing. But it's probably just as easy to go back to canvas and then re-go to make it and do it that way. It'll just go exactly where it was before. Um, it's off the mat. And then come down here and they're all on mat number four and so I'm going to start with this one here because this is the piece that I'm cutting now it's picking up the maker on Bluetooth now I'll browse all materials here I could go to the um, you know to the popular there but it's just as easy to do it here. Smart Vinyl Permanent. So I'm going to ask it to remember the material settings uh, because I simply don't want to tell it every time that I do a mat what it is that I'm using because I'm using all of Smart Vinyl Permanent. So I'll just um, do that and um, leave it the way that it is there. So, then I will go over to the machine and pop the vinyl in. Now I'm going to feed it down through my roll holder here. And then you've got two little um, guides here. You've also got one that's underneath here that your roll holder goes on so if you're wondering what they are there for they are there to um, hold the roll holder in place it actually has had two little grooves on the bottom of the roll holder as well so then they go down and it just sits there nicely um, I've feeded it in now the, the vinyl needs to go and it just automatically I don't know if you saw that but it just automatically goes under the um, the guides there the mat guide so I'm now going to press my um, the mat feed through or the load unload and it's going to then take that and it will then measure, it will measure the vinyl to tell me whether I have enough or not. 
So here it goes. It's now measuring. And if I've got enough on the roll there, it's then going to tell me. On screen, it will then tell me whether I have enough. See that? It says not enough material. There's only 122 centimetres that was loaded. So let's cancel the cut. Okay, so I've come back to um, the material size and I'm going to change that um, down here where um, you've got the, and this is actually in inches that I've got this in. Let me see. Okay, so it currently says that it's at 76, uh, but I want to make it, uh, let's see, let's go down here. I want to make it just over 34, so that would be about 80, 86 centimetres, I think. So let's just make it about 34.5, that would get me just over the bottom of the feet there. Yeah, probably about... 87 odd centimeters so because this is still in inches let's just change that round uh, 34.5 I'm going to put in there and then it will update the material there we go so if I look down here it's actually the eyes come down further so let's see if I can move those up here and then I'm going to save a bit of vinyl there as well. So I'll bring them up a bit higher. I don't want them at the bottom where it's going to take more vinyl. I can use that for something else. I'll just put the eyes further up. And then I come back down here. And see that's not 34 and a half. That is, or 35. That's just over 29. So let's just change this again here and we'll put 29.5 it'll probably go to 30 odd I'd say and it's going to update the length there it is um, it's gone to 30.5 that one's 40.46 let's go to the other one and my eyes have gone into onto another mat on their own so that means I don't want my eyes to be on another mat so I simply go there and move my objects so that they can then go onto this one here so we've confirmed that and then I'll grab the other one and put that on as well so there's one of the eyes that can go in between. If you can save your vinyl like that, then do so, because um, otherwise it's just wastage. And I'll move this one as well onto the same mat and confirm. Might take you like a couple of minutes extra to do this, but it'll be well worth it when you've saved um, the vinyl pieces that you've got. Move that over a bit. There we go. So I've got my half of cutie ready to cut. So I can continue now. And I want to show you how quickly this will cut as well. I'll go to popular this time and I want to go to smart vinyl permanent. And I want to remember my material settings so that I don't have to change it for every mat that there is. So that's ready to go now. Then I'll go back to the machine. Here we are. And once again, I've re fed that through. So now I can press the, the mat feed button or the load unload. And it is going to check and make sure that I've got enough this time. It has a sensor that's underneath here, that little black thing that you see there, that's a sensor to make sure that you've got enough material. Oops, there we 
go. Keep an eye on that. All right, so now we come across, make sure that I've got the right tool. And having the right tool, now we're ready to cut. And you can actually see just how fast this will go. All right, we're ready. Play. Because that's what it is, it's like you're playing. I'll ever get over the way this cuts so fast. You can see just exactly how fast it is. Now it's done. Alright, see how fast that was? So now I can then trim that off like that because I'm using a roll holder so then I can take that off and if I like I can put this back on bring that back up like so um, and if I still had the roll there it would just automatically go in there but I've trimmed it off first but I want this to then go and re-go in here so I can keep it nice and neat. And there is my piece ready to go. Alright, now you can't actually see that yet, but I am going to show you um, where it's cut. Okay, so I've got my piece of vinyl out now, and now I'm going to uh, weed. But one thing that I thought that I would do would be to, if you want to use the extra pieces that you have left over on the mat, then you would simply trim around these pieces here because you've got plenty of uh, leftover around this area here. But what I'm going to do is just to snip around those pieces there and keep the pieces that are here that I'll be able to use on something else because otherwise they'll just go into the bin and then that's just a waste of vinyl. So I can actually use these pieces. And my blind is open today so therefore I have lots of sunlight coming through well I wouldn't call it sunlight but I've got lots of light coming through here in Melbourne so I've got those that piece there that I can then use that that scrap onto a mat and reuse that and now I've got my cutie here that I'm going to now weed out so you can see just how good this is to weed so I'm going to bring that here like so and bring that down now you may need to help it a little so when you come to a point like that it's a good idea to either use your weeding tool or to help there now I've got a little join there so I don't want that to come up and I've got that little join there where the cutie was put together. And you can see just how easily this weeds off. I've got my eyes up here. So I want to make sure that I get that. I'll get my weeding tool here and help that stay down. There it is. And if you just sort of roll it up into a ball as you go, which is basically what I do, is I just roll it up as I go. Bring that around. And you would think having a piece that was this big, it wouldn't be as easy to weave, but it is. 
So there you have it. There's half of my cutie. So I'm going to continue doing the rest of it. But I just wanted to show you um, the long cut with the vinyl, how easy it is to weed, and um, showing the long cut off the mat, okay, with the with the Cricut Maker 3. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I hope that that helped you a little, and um, I'll see you on the next video, okay? Thanks. Bye.